fucking going bald anyway. Yo, what is going on everyone? In this episode of Restoration Tips, I want to talk to you guys about a question that I get literally every single day of my life. And that question is, what can I do to prevent my midsole from cracking again after I've repainted it? But before I actually get into that, I want you guys to hit the like button. We hit about 200 likes on my last video and I want to aim for 200 again. Like I said in my previous restoration tips video, it lets me know that you guys actually enjoy the content and it's going to keep pushing me to be releasing these types of videos. Now we can get down to answering this question. And I'm going to let you guys know right off the bat the answer to this question is probably not what you're looking for and once you hear what I have to say you're probably gonna go back and reverse that like button to a dislike button and I fully understand that but it's not the answer that you want it's the answer that you need but the first thing you need to know is if you take a look at your Angelus bottle read it it says acrylic leather paint look at your midsole that is not made out of leather the primary purpose for Angelus acrylic leather paint is to paint leather. It is not developed for midsoles and pretty much the short answer is there is nothing you can do to prevent your shoe from cracking again. I get people hitting me up all the time saying why would I pay money you know for, for the midsole just to crack again and to that I respond with why would you pay money for the midsole to crack initially but there are some things that you can do to prolong the life of your restored midsole and a couple of those things are instead of using flat white for your midsole use a regular white just regular white as opposed to flat white the reason I say that is because the flat white has some duller in it and the duller makes the paint brittle which will cause it to crack faster. This right here, the regular white, after it has dried, it has the same consistency of a rubber material and it was much more flexible and it will hold up a lot longer than this stuff right here. Although I do personally like the look of flat white as opposed to this. If it's durability you're looking for, use a regular white. And after you've done that, it brings me to the finisher. Now, after you have finished painting your midsole, obviously you're going to do your white undercoat first and then your black, let's just say for this pair of white cement threes. This has been repainted by myself. I personally used a matte acrylic finisher. Now this is, whew, this is a good two years old. I'm not 100% sure if Angelus has uh, redone their acrylic finisher but when I did my Darth Maul custom I used this thinking that it was going to come out matte and it just added a little bit more shine so I actually used this matte finisher to create a very dull shine as you can see here actually it looks it looks pretty shiny but as far as finisher goes to be a hundred percent honest with you it's all based on personal preference I get people asking me all the time Chase what kind of finisher do you use what kind of finisher do you use it is all preference if you want a dull shine use the matte finisher if you want a high gloss like reflecting off the Sun blinding people as you walk by them use the Angelus acrylic finisher and I have yet to order some but if you want a nice flat look you want to use the flat top finisher so yeah that is basically all you need to know I guess the short answer that you're looking for is that you need to understand that this is a shoe this is meant to go on your feet and take the entire weight of your body. Of course the paint is going to crack again and you need to understand that. The paint cracks originally from the factory and it's going to crack again if you are getting someone to hand paint it. Although, Angelus paint will last a lot longer than the factory paint. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Restoration Tips. I really hope that I got through to some of you with this because there are a lot of people out there that want their shoes to look perfect but they don't understand that if you plan on wearing the shoe eventually it's not going to look perfect anymore and that's really all the tips that I can give you use regular white instead of flat white always use a finisher and if you really don't want your midsole to crack again don't wear the shoe be sure to follow me on Instagram, my username is the exact same as it is here on YouTube. I will be sure to leave a link in the description. Or my username will be right here, or here. I don't really know how this whole invert thing works. And also, before I go, let me know if you want to see 
a video of me painting this custom right here. I posted it on my Instagram. Pretty much every single custom that I do is going to end up on Instagram before it ends up on YouTube. So if you want to see what I'm doing long before I actually post a video on it, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. I made these white cement six customs out of a pair of sport blue sixes, as you can see right here, the sport blue jump man. And they came out looking pretty dope, if I do say so myself. Black jump man, black pull tab. Black midsole, cement print, carmine pattern. But enough of that, let's close out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And as always, have yourself a good day. Fuck out of here.